How's it going and welcome back to the Coffee and Scotch Esports Show. I'm your host, Bowman Shota, and today I have with me Anthony Ready to Rumble Johnson, who is a professional Madden player. For those of you, uh, first of all, Anthony, how you doing today? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. I'm doing real good. Nice, nice. Thank you very much for joining me on this show today. I'm excited to talk about it because... I've watched a couple times when uh, EA's been streaming some of the tournaments recently, and uh, I really liked your trash talk that you had for a few of the other, <laughs> your opponents. So, But for those of you watching, EA has been making a big push recently to get Madden and FIFA um, and even Battlefield larger esports scenes. And part of the reason why I brought on Anthony today, other than the fact that he's a pro Madden player, which I think is awesome, is to kind of you know give us his side of if you know if behind the scenes if he's had any information that they've talked about during these tournaments and stuff like that. But before we jump all you know too much into that, um, Anthony, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you kind of got into the pro scene for Madden? Yeah, um, actually, uh, one of my buddies that I went to preschool with was uh, in the competitive Madden scene before I was, and uh, he got me into it in Madden 11, which was about five years ago almost. And I kind of really got into it, man. I went to a lot of local tournaments, went to some kind of out-of-state tournaments. And it was fun, man. I really got, uh, I really kind of fell in love with the game that way. So, nice, very nice. So, obviously, uh, you know, you've you've competed recently, and recently we did have the Madden 16 Championship. Um, you know, I I I couldn't, I didn't have time to look it up, but you know, how'd you do in that tournament? Um, I mean, I did good. The first uh, first qualifier, I. Uh, actually qualified for Burbank, California. We kind of qualified for the finalists out there. And I got flown out, like EA flown me out and everything. It was a lot of fun. But uh, the final tournament where Stiffmeister won it, um, I lost in the third round of that tournament. But it was a lot of fun. I actually lost to the person that won the championship. So it was nice. cool. I'm, I'm happier for him, though, man. He, he did really good. So That's awesome. So you actually lost to the guy who won the whole thing, Stiffmeister. Correct. So. Yes. Yes, it Nice. Did. What was the scoreline of that match? Uh, I actually ended up losing my three, so I mean it was wow. a really, really good match. So. <laughs> wow, wow! And I remember there was a, a tournament earlier in the year where because you kicked a field goal versus go for a touchdown to be nice, you 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 missed out due to the point differential moving on as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, thanks for bringing up bad bad I'm memories sorry. there. <laughs> sorry, no, no, sorry. It, it's cool, man. Yeah, no, that definitely uh, definitely kind of haunts me still. I'll, uh, I'll try to never make that mistake again. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, but it, uh, to me, as as a viewer watching in, to me, it's exciting to see that type of stiff competition where it comes down to like you know you barely lost to the guy who won the whole thing by three points, and it's like. You know, there's there's so many. I'm I'm sure you overanalyzed it to death, but you know it's exciting oh, yeah. to from a viewer standpoint. That's very intense competition that you can watch and, and enjoy, and that's you know something that I hope EA finds a way to make it more popular as far as viewers wise. So yeah, um, yeah. I mean, yeah, de definitely me too. I mean, there's a a lot of the top players, man. If you you play like you know ten games against them, man, they're all going to probably be within seven points. It's it's really competitive, which makes it really fun. Nice, nice. So, what challenges? Now, obviously, you know this isn't your full time job yet because Madden Esports is still in, like it's it's in a good stage as far as you got a good hardcore community. Um, but it's you know it's not until this year where they first announced uh, the million dollar prize pools for all the tournaments that they're hosting this year. Um, right. But like you have a full time job, you know what's it like balancing that being a pro player but also having a full time job. I mean, it's tough sometimes, man, especially when you throw in the fact that, you know, you have a, you have your outside life, you know, to do with it, you know, so you got your job, you got your outside life, then you got trying to be a pro at Madden. I mean, uh, you really have to kind of utilize your time wisely. You know, I try to at least spend, I mean, not every day, but um, when I am on the game, you know, especially two, three, even four hours, man, I try to spend it uh, really utilizing my time, trying to practice, you know, different routes, different combinations of what's going to make me you know, better than the next player. I mean, it's, it's tough, but at the same time, man, you're playing a video game, you know, it's fun. It's definitely yeah. fun. So, <laughs> Right. Oh, darn. I have to practice this thing I enjoy. So <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Man. At the end of the day, you're playing video games with, you know, uh, some really good friends. So it, it's fun. I can't complain. Nice. Nice. Now, do you have like, um, like a set practice regime where like there's dedicated times in your week you always practice? Yeah, I mean, I, I try to stick to the same routine. Obviously, you know, with uh, everyday life, it gets uh, changed up every once in a while. But, yeah, there's definitely a routine where, you know, you uh, you practice and you try it in a real game and then you know, go practice a couple things for that real game. So, yeah, there's, there's definitely a little bit of routine in it for sure. 
Nice. Now I know I've read and and I know you've talked about how at the at the highest level of competition in the Madden scene, you guys are kind of a even though there's that nice rivalry going on and there's lots of trash talk on camera. Do you guys actually behind the scenes also practice with each other privately and have scrimmages and stuff like that? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, a, a lot of us uh, practice together. Now, with that being said, I mean, there's a lot of competitive Madden players. There's some people that absolutely have a huge rivalry against each other. But yeah. I mean, just like that uh, Madden championship, the Sifmeister one, uh, two of those final four people are kind of in the same. They, we call it crews, you know, like where uh, where you practice with the same people. And I definitely have my people that I practice with. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's fun. But we we all kind of know each other, even for just from local tourneys. So even though we we're very competitive with each other, I mean, you know, I definitely have respect for Sifmeister that won it all. I mean, for sure. Nice. Now, obviously, Madden, uh, I believe it was last year, changed how the competitive structure was because it used to be where, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, where basically, you know, you, you, you chose your favorite team and you, you tried to basically compete against another player in a standard, you know, like I chose the Bears and you chose the, the Patriots or whatever. And I'm sure right. I would lose because the Bears are terrible, but I still <laughs> love them. But it's, it's one of those things um, where in 2015, I believe, they changed it to what's called draft mode. Can you go into the details of like the significance of that change and, and whether or not it, it made the, the competitive side better or worse? Yeah, um, they've had that mode for, I think, at least two years now. But in all honesty, a lot of us underground Madden, you know, competitive players never played it. We always just played regular teams, you know, and we were just, you know, obviously like money games and tournaments, things like that. But the whole community, I mean, like obviously Madden's a huge game. I mean, the most of the majority played this mode. And what's different about this mode is that you can have players from the Bears, the Patriots, the Seahawks, the Lions. You can have all these different players on the teams, which makes it fun, though. I mean, you get to use these different players with different skill sets on different. I mean, it's it's a lot of fun, but it's very different, especially to the competitive men uh, scene for sure. So, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot more strategy in because um, they also have legendary players that you could pick, like Walter Payton, um, and, you know, <laughs> yeah. Mike Dick, and all that stuff, where you can bring back these classic players. You know, and that's interesting because basically, like, for those for the viewers who are who are new to the Madden scene, who are tuning in, essentially, at the before a tournament starts, every pro pro player picks a, I believe it, you pick a uh, a general team for like your jersey, and then also a playbook, right? Correct. Correct. And then yes. it goes into basically like a mini NFL draft where everyone picks players one at a time um, until you have your core team, and then the the remaining t uh, rest of your team is basically whatever's left over on that base team you picked. Correct. Yeah. I mean, they, they make it. And I mean, they did. I mean, EA really killed it with it. It's such a good job with it. they kind of make it a salary cap. Like, for example, I mean, you get a thousand points and let's say, you know, Walter Payton is 100 points or something. So if you pick somebody like that, Walter play Walter Payton player, I mean, it, it really kind of limits what else you can put on your team, you know, so they, they did a really good job with it. But you kind of got to be a, a general manager and, you know, um, aspect that you really have to build your team to fit your uh, skill set for sure. So. Nice, nice. Now, obviously, one of the big things that's happened recently with EA is is they've partnered with ESPN to a point. I remember watching the actual championship. Uh, what was it a month, about a month ago now? Yeah, um, yep. it was live on ESPN two, and that's a big deal. I mean, you know, the, lots of uh, games have tried to get into the TV realm. Um, you know, there's been lots of failures. I think the only two real successes, along with this this Madden championship was Mortal Kombat on the CW had a nice mini series where they highlighted an ESL tournament. Um, and then recently, obviously, the E-League has had outstanding success on TBS um, with Counter-Strike. Um, right. You know, are there plans with Madden and, like, ESPN or other things, like, to make Madden 17 when it comes out here here in uh, two months to kind of be, make it bigger and better? Yeah, I mean, uh, they're having four different tournaments that are – uh, worth two hundred fifty thousand dollars a piece, and that's all sponsored by EA and partnered with ESPN. So that's gonna be awesome. But also, I mean, EA is sanctioning, you know, like these local tournament guys that keep running these tournaments, that they're gonna give them a certain amount of money and have points. So it kind of almost be like a point ladder system. So I mean, it's really gonna blow up all of Madden, which is gonna be awesome for Madden 17. I mean, there's a lot of people that I'm not sure if you're familiar with Madden Nation that was back on <laughs> ESPN, you know. Shoot, I don't know. Before I even yeah. started playing it, all honestly, eight that years and ago, MTV probably. and all that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, they're, they're bringing. I've seen so many people that haven't played Madden competitively in three, four years to say they're going to come back for this next year. So it's gaining a lot of hype, and I mean, everybody's excited for uh, August here in a couple months. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Nice, nice. And I'm excited, well, because the the major concept 
uh, obviously is new to Madden. Uh, what you're talking about with the 250,000 prize pool, but it's actually right, been right. established in like Counter Strike and Dota, um, which are two you know top esports right now, for almost probably a good five to eight years now. I can't remember when the official one they first coined the term, but um, basically, yeah, the majors are the end all be all top tier matches that that are really going to showcase. And it's cool that EA is uh, having those local tournaments. And you said they can earn points that could potentially move them up to like the premier tournaments and then the majors. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I th to my knowledge, I mean, they haven't released a ton about the little points, but I think they're going to have a leaderboard where, you know, you gain these points by going to these tournaments and then you get the invites, you know, so it's going to it's going to make it very competitive. It's going to make it tough. I'll, t I'll tell you that for sure. There's going to be a lot of players you got to fight through. But I mean, uh, I'm looking forward to the challenge for sure. It's going to be it's going to be a great season. That's for sure. Nice. Well, what are you looking forward to most with Madden 17 coming out? I don't know if you've been able to, to, to play it or got a sneak preview at, at, or something, but... Well, lucky for Stiff, which obviously won the last tournament, he kind of <laughs> got to play, you know, the new one coming out. I mean, it doesn't release, you know, till August, so no one really has to copy or anything like that. But uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. every single game. There's something new to learn. There's something, there's a, a different route that works. There's a different scheme that works. So it makes it really fun. Kind of, I'm telling you that that first week that it comes out is probably the best of the year because you're trying so many different things. You're really putting a lot of hours into, and you're trying to almost and essentially break the game you know we're trying to find something that nothing <laughs> like like nothing can stop so it, it makes a lot of fun for sure nice nice now i know there's been um some criticism to kind of change gears a little bit i know i read one article where they were watching the semifinals of a tournament um, i think was it the it might have been the last tournament the the madden championship um, and on twitch there was like less than a thousand viewers for that um, is that something that you know, is really concerned right now, or are you guys more focused on just ramping up um, the scene and everything like that, or is the whole PR publicity side of it uh, even on your guys' radar yet? Well, in all honesty, I mean, uh, some of us in the competitive scene uh, was definitely a little worried about it, but then, like, out of nowhere, ESPN announced, you know, this million dollar for men 17, so that, I mean, in all, I was kind of surprised, but it's really cool. Now, with with the last Madden tournament, what I think kind of affected the viewers a little bit is it's so late into the Madden season. I mean, some people have already stopped playing Madden. Just, you know, you want to get a little three-month break, obviously, before you completely lock into the next, uh, you know, obviously in August when Madden 17 drops. So mm -hmm. I think some people already stopped, and that kind of hurt the viewers a little bit. But now with this Madden 17 being released, I think EA kind of really realized how big e, uh, eSports is getting in general, and they really kind of want to hop on the bandwagon almost a little bit. And, hey, I'm not complaining, that's for sure. So. <laughs> right? Oh, darn, we got to make money doing, <laughs> doing this thing. So. Right, exactly. Cool. Uh, you know, and that's one thing that, you know, Call of Duty has – Call of Duty obviously is is a blockbuster hit as far as sales-wise, as is Madden, right. as is FIFA. But Call of Duty is dealing with the same issues where because they have a new game out every year, the pro scene is actually suffering a little bit uh, as far as viewers and stuff like that because every year the pros have to adapt to a new game. To And in Call of Duty, I feel like there's more drastic changes than there are in Madden game to game. But it is something to consider. Do you have a lot of challenges with that in Madden? Uh, it's tough. I mean, I'm telling you, like, if... Uh... Uh, well, my friend that actually I talked about earlier that kind of introduced me to the Madden scene, he really didn't play all year this year. And I mean, you can ask him if he got on this game right now, he would probably get beat by somebody that just started playing, you know, this year competitively. I mean, so it's it's tough if you don't play it, if you don't, if you don't put the time and if you don't practice, uh, you, you could be the best two years ago. But if you don't play the, this year's game, it's 100 percent different. I mean, different routes work differently, different uh, blitzes work that don't work in different games. So it's definitely got to put the time in for sure. Nice, nice. Sorry, my voice just kind of... <laughs> something happened, but anyway. <laughs> hey, it's all right, man. It's all right. That happens. <clears throat> all right. Um, now, obviously, uh, before we wrap it up here, excuse me, what does the rest of this year hold for you, though, like as far as um, you're the, from the pro gaming side? Um, in all honesty, we just had uh, we just had a tournament. I want to say two weeks ago in Ohio, which was uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, made a little money out there, which is always nice. Uh, but got to hang out with a couple of my guys that I haven't seen in a while. Um, but there's really there's really not too much going on. There's some online tournaments, which is cool. 
um, playing at one next week. But uh, I mean, not, not, nothing too crazy. Uh, right now is kind of the downtime, you know, uh, kind of hang out, you know, chill out with your, you know, your, your real life friends, you know, as we like to call it. Um, and kind of, I mean, me, I'm a, I'm a big time golfer, so I'm going to be golfing a lot since the summer, you know, is kind of really here. So I'm going to be kind of hanging out for a while, but come, you know, mid August when the game stops, then, uh, you kind of got to lock into the new year. That's for sure. Nice. Nice. All right. Well, is, was there anything else you wanted to kind of promote? This is kind of like the shameless plug section of, of, of our <laughs> video. Um, was there anything you wanted to promote? Uh, where could people, I got your Twitter actually above your, your camera actually. So if people want okay, to follow cool. you on Twitter. It's at uh, uh, Ready23 Rumble. Um, yeah, absolutely. But anything else you want to uh, promote for yourself or the Madden Yeah, season? yeah. If you guys want to want to follow me on Twitch, if you need any help, need any tips or anything like that, it's uh, Mr. Rumble and then the number two and then U, Y-O-U. So Mr. Rumble to you. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, just follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. If you have any questions, just give me, uh, give me a, you know, hit me up, and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. So. Nice, nice. And we will have the links in the description for all of you who want to just the easy access. You can just click and, and follow those links to his Twitch and Twitter. So, well, all right. Well, Anthony, uh, thank you again very much for coming on the show. Um, I'm excited about the Madden scene. I'm excited uh, that, you know, I get to occasionally grab a drink with you as well since uh, we live near each other. So. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. We'll, we'll have to do that soon. That's for sure. Yeah. So, uh, but um, any final thoughts you have for the fans? No, man. Hey, I, I think that you're doing a great job with what you're doing right now. And I mean, I'll, uh, you know, come Madden 17, if you want to bring me back on, I'll kind of give you an update of how we're doing with the new season. And uh, other than that, man, I appreciate it. Nice. It would be fun to interview the next major champion. So, <laughs> sure. hey, man, I, I hope that's me. That's for sure. Right. All right. Well, all of you out there watching, thank you very much for checking out this week's episode of the Coffee and Scotch Esports Show. Uh, for more great content, go to esports.online uh, to find out other great articles written by some good guys for esports content. Uh, like, share, favorite this as you all see fit, and you all have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.